Hi everybody and welcome to episode 12 of the Casually Avid Gamer Plays Mafia 3. I'm glad you guys are here. Now, we could be doing a couple of things today. Uh, last episode, we rescued Vito, uh, was it Castelletta, I think? Anyway, the, the, he was the protagonist from Mafia 2. Uh, and so we're working to get him on our side. And one thing that happened, however, is he gave us access to his consigliere, who will stash our cash for us for free. And he, we got access to that right away. Uh, one other thing I got between, op, uh, between episodes is I can put in a call to an operator and they'll kill the phones for two minutes. So if we don't want anybody calling the, the police. All right, so anyway, so what I'm thinking today, rather than uh, keep working on Vito's storyline, I thought we'd do the first part of uh, Burke's storyline. Uh, he's the other asset that CIA John Donovan has uh, kind of picked out for us. So I thought we'd do that, and then maybe we could get his guy's special ability too. So let's park and go talk to CIA John Donovan. Looking pretty lively for a dead guy. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, yes. Point for Dunn's favorite son, Thomas Burke. How's he doing since Danny? <laughs> Nine weeks ago, Burke stumbles into Roman the Butcher Barbieri's deli. Drunk off his ass, waving a gun around. He fires off ten rounds, but the only thing he manages to hit is a fucking ham hock in the goddamn deli case. The butcher's boys slap the shit out of him and toss him in a dumpster. I can see where we want our team. Took point the done, right? Busted up Burke's leg with a tire iron. That's why Burke was willing to go along with the robbery. He thought it'd make things square with Sal, and he'd be able to get point for done back. Well, you always struck me as an asshole. Yeah, just like every other Irishman. But he hates Marcano as much as you do. Yeah, all right. Least I can do is give Danny's old man a chance for a little payback. Oh, fucking <laughs> hell. <laughs> He's been spending his time in a dive bar up in Point for Dunn. Duffy's, it's called. Shouldn't be too hard to find. Yo, you better be worth all this trouble. All right, the blade stained red. Let's go talk to Bert. Wow, that's a long way away. That's going to be a heck of a drive. That's okay, though. Let's go ahead and hop in. We are off to talk to Thomas Burke. Move! Come on. There we go. All right, here we are. I believe we're in Point Verdun. Coming up on Duffy's Bar. Time to have a little talk. A little chit-chat, if you will. With Thomas Burke. And we're going in strapped, because that's the thing. Try the back door. Is this a racist thing? Huh. There he is. Hey, buddy. Burke. Been a while. Lincoln Clay. He's just crazy on the cross. Nasty and everything. I heard you were dead. Been hearing that a lot. What the fuck do you want? Came here to make you a business proposition. Is that so? I'm going after Marcano, his brothers, anyone else that's associated with him. You know what may help? The way I see it, once we deal with Barbieri, you get Point Vidum back. After that, we can discuss what happens to the rest of the city. Hey, no, fuck off. I've all the chalky postures once already. Look where I got me. Chalky? From where I'm standing, I'm not seeing much of a difference between then and now. You less than that, you less than God, you fuck. <laughs> Danny was so buttoned up, the coroner wouldn't let me get a last look. Anyone's killing that fucking Marcano. That's me. Unless Marcano's hanging around one of these dive bars, I don't think he has too much to worry about. Yeah, go fuck yourself. Yeah. <laughs> no more stones in the legs of you, there are fucking off. I fucking agree. 
it. Hmm. Come on, do you question me? You and your king, you are caught and run. At the first sign of trouble. You always have. You always will. That's he's a nice happy guy. Brick needs convincing that you're serious. Speed driving, drive dangerously, drive on the wrong side of the road, execute jumps, and thread the needle uh, to bring him around to your way of thing. So I have to. <laughs> Okie dokie. I'm getting in Burke's car. What a crash shell anchor a darn. You were bragging about your stones, so I figured we'd take a little ride. See who cracks first the chalky or the mick. <laughs> You're getting me all chubbed up now, Chalky. Nope, kill it. This collision's bad. You ain't proven nothing. Come here. Threaten the needle. Give me the when you've had enough. You're gonna make the piss come out of me, Jamsay! You're getting me all <laughs> chubbed up now, Chalky! Come on, old man. It ain't the whiskey turning you green. Lots of speeding. Complete! Uh -huh. Alright, alright. You proved your point, your manga saw. Pull over here. Now, get the fuck out of my raid. Huh. Is that Stop it? Find me shop. We can talk dozen us there. Okay, where's your shop? Really have to go. Shut up. Alright, so now we need a ride. If we cut and run complete. Where's that? That's the Tickfall Harbor, French Ward, Frisco Fields, Point Verdun. Okay, is it not on there? All right, there we go. A nation, a nation once again. Story mission unlocked. Meet Burke. Oh, there's a cop car. Oh, dude, back off me. There's a lot of cops around here. Alright, so we're gonna go this way. We're gonna go talk to Burke, I think. Oh, wait, I deactivated that, didn't I? Alright, there we go. Meet Burke. This way. I want a car, but I'd like to steal one from a fairly secluded spot, rather than, oh, I don't know, trying to get in front of the, the cops. Trying to steal one in front of the cops. That would seem counterproductive. Something's going on with this game. Like, I've got a really beefy computer, and I was just running this game at 60 frames per second, and my computer was so loud trying to keep up, like the fans were going so hard, that you probably heard it on my, uh, on, in the, some of the clips. And, oh, that sound, it was just, it was annoying me. Like, I've, I've played much, it seems like, would seem intensive games. 
that wouldn't seem to require, or that would seem to require more than this game would, or more, I guess, oomph from your system. But man, oh man, I just, I had to bump it back to 30 FPS. I don't necessarily like the look of it, but man, I can't, it just uh, was too nuts. But anyway, all right, so here we are. Thomas, Thomas Birch Place. Exit the vehicle. Yeah, I got to steal that. That was fun. Back so soon, then? Tell me about Barbieri. Barbieri? He's a right fucking cunt. I can tell you that much. You know what I'm asking, Burke. Give me something I can use. Barbieri's running Splow out of the Sweetwater Distillery. What's Splow? Splow. Panther's Piss. White Mule. Alley Gin. Pot Chain. Moonshine. You ignorant fuck. Christ, what can a booze you people drink over there in Darkyville? Kind is not called Painter's Piss. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like Burke. Set the whole thing up myself. And that gunny fuck comes in, takes it from me, smashes me knee all to hell. Barbieri's got to suffer. You hear? Days slow. What else has he got besides the distillery? I runs that old Robert O. Slaughterhouse. He's doing more in there than cutting a lean ribeye. Drags in there. That's the end there. I'll do the heavy lifting on this, Burke. Uh -huh. Once Barbieri's dead, I'm counting on you to step up. Oh, I'll do more than step up. I'll either be running this whole damn town or burning it to the ground. But honest, it'll make a whole lot of difference to me either way. <laughs> huh. Seems like a reliable ally. Hot once again. A nation once again. Ireland long, a province be a nation once again. Hmm. Interesting. I'll get a new ride brought to you. That's what I was hoping. You can call the vehicle delivery service to bring cars from your garage. Unlock, unlock new cars for your garage by dealing with Marcano's lieutenants and capos. Oh, that's excellent. That is super excellent. Moonshine. Talk to Nikki Burke. Huh. So, let's see. Thomas Burke. With the moonshine. I guess that's the start of it. Although, I don't... Like I said, I don't like Burke. So, we're probably going to work on uh, Vito... Castelletta's uh, missions first. I think that's probably what we'll do. Uh, okay, so I think we'll save that for next episode. Thank you guys for tuning in to this episode of Casually Have a Gamer Plays Mafia 3. Sorry we didn't kill anything. I guess it was that kind of episode. Next time, definitely killing stuff. Alright, I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.